Okay, so I'm back. Another day. I think this is day four. Game design, screwing around, brainstorming. Uh, let's see. My control minus isn't working too well. Cool. Let me see what I got going on. Uh, a friend of mine offline or at, on YouTube, because I post this on YouTube after I recorded live, so Dave suggested instead of happiness, fulfillment, and I like that idea. I think that's what he said, yeah. Fulfillment. So we'll call the happy face fulfillment. That means we can probably change that to a heart or something other than um, happy face. I hate happy faces. They make me mad. Cool. So let's see. So we'll call that fulfillment. The other, th uh, we've I've gone through how this works. You have to watch the previous videos to kind of understand it. If it's understandable, I don't even know. Uh, it's all theory until I start actually making the game. Um, I was looking at all these, and these are all going to be different tasks. I think I want to put the task into two tiers. So for now, let's let's say there's two tiers. There's this tier, then there's that tier. Uh, this tier will be, we'll call it the field. Actually, let's not call it the field. Let's call it the farm. We've got the farm tier. We've got a farm tier, and then we've got another tier. This is why I'm trying to divide up these cubes. This next tier is going to be production. Maybe we should do another tier. kind of a tier do we want here uh, so by dividing these cubes up it'll allow me thematically to make these tasks cards and they'll be relevant to things you have to do in your your work um, by making by dividing them up and giving them uh, also subcategories and and stuff like that that's going to allow us to make some relationship kind of connections um, the reason I'm gonna do that is so that I could just get a working idea of what relationships could be like uh, it's definitely subject to change and uh, for me I like to make things go from the very broad so you're going from a very from a blank sheet of paper to a few ideas to making all these complex ideas so all these complex ideas are just going to be made. Maybe they'll connect, maybe they won't. Sometimes I'll make scaffolding, meaning I'll make parts of the design exist, but not actually have anything there, or put some other generic thing there so that you know that something else works there. So it might be something that's in a whole other game, like a popular game, but I know that it'll change later. It just needs something there. So like... In Matchstick Girls, what, uh, the game that I worked on last year, um, I had this whole neighborhood idea. So you'd have people wandering around the neighborhood, exploiting relationships and families and whatnot in the neighborhood. But I didn't have it actually working. I had the rest of it. I had a, like a production inside of the Matchstick Factory where you're making matchsticks. I had that working. But I, I didn't have anything for the neighborhood. So for the longest time, it was just a square with neighbor with, with things on it. And then I would build the neighborhood and then have it connect with the rest of the game and have it interact. And then I would redo the neighborhood over and over and over until I finally made it all work. Um, so it's not going to be uncommon to put scaffolding in. But by making these little complex sub things that we can work on, it makes it easier for me to make to look at connections and then maybe decide, okay, well, I know this has to interact with this other section, so I need to make scaffolding there so that we know that the bones of something is there, but well, we don't know what it is. And maybe if I needed to actually work, I'll make it 
you know, worker placement or something stupid, something really easy, something not creative and not uh, not new, something that just is easy to look, uh, something you don't have to think about. So, um, not that you can't make a an action selection game interesting or a worker placement game interesting. It's just not very innovative. So. Um, uh, and I want to do original, fresh stuff that maybe it is worker placement, but it doesn't feel like it. But I'm trying to avoid stuff like that. Anyway, so what I go from is broad to complex, and then take those complex ideas, and I, I usually get them really complex in the game design stages, and then try to simplify those ideas into their bare minimum. And then just start removing chunks of the game that just that are just convoluted, because for me it's easier to go from a place of uh, extreme complexity to try to break that down to explain it to somebody. You're doing it, you know, in a game visually as as well as mechanically to some simple idea. What what are you trying to say in the simplest way you possibly can? So anyway. So what we need to do is break these cubes up into categories. We're going to go farming, production. Uh, let's let's have a pre-production. I'll figure a better name for that. And let's have a post-production. We'll hyphenate that word. I don't know if it needs to be hyphenated or not. I don't know. Pre-production and a post-production maybe well that's pretty broad because in post production you could do marketing you could do labeling you could do there's a lot of stuff you could do in pre and post you can do the actual tasting there's a lot so we'll just so this is like farming is basically pre pre-production and then pre-production is preparing it to be distilled and then we'll call distilling even pre-production we'll call production or post-production everything that happens after the liquor is made but before it's put in the bottle so that that instance that before it puts in the bottle that all goes into pre-production and pre-production will start the moment that the fruit after the fruit is harvested and we'll have a we'll have a moment where we go from harvesting to preparing it for the distillery and distilling and all that'll be part of pre-production it might be a little gray when we from farming to pre-production but we'll figure that out so we we could just put distilling here but i want it to encompass a lot more than that so anyway so we've got three of those the other thing we have to think about spelled wrong done okay so in management each one actually instead of saying management now we don't even have to spell it very well let's say there's an admin component to each one all right so we've got so let's say we could talk of the most basic on farming. You know that besides the person who's actually in the field farming, there's also people delegating those things that need to be farmed. Some of those administrators could be farming themselves, but some of them could be to decide to take a very hands-off approach. So admin can be basically anything that uh, anything above the actual laborer has no control. Okay, so each one of these has that kind of element, and maybe there's a higher tier. This is all getting very complex, which would be the admin of the admins, the boss, El Jefe. I don't know how you would say it. I don't know what would be the, J the Jamaican equivalent. I just know a little bit of Spanish. So there we go. Cool. So we've got three types 
And you know it'd be cool to do three different shapes. So we have already got a cube. So we need another shape. I think I know where to get another shape. It's in Corrupt City. We'll do it from the cards. So curds. I'll get this asset. Paste this asset. We'll ungroup it. We'll take this element off. Get rid of that. And we'll use this asset for thing. Now I've got to be able to color it because right now you can't. It doesn't have a there's not a color inside of here. So let me draw some malarkey. You know, er, I always think about South Park. I think it was the first season. It was probably the first episode. That's where you find out that Cartman's mom is, uh, she sleeps around. And they're trying to find out who Cartman's dad is. I think it's from the first episode. And then there's these long stories of like who she was with. She was with all these people. And I always remember her asking if they want to do a manage of three. I think it's what they called it. They were trying to say menage a trois, but uh, I said it some weird way, like manage of three or something. Something really weird like that. I don't know what made me think of that. Anyway, I guess because malarkey starts with an M and manage of three starts with an M. All right, we have two, so we need a third one. So this one I'm just gonna draw. I want a cylinder. So that's going to be the top of the cylinder. I'm going to color both things, which is the outline and the center part. We're going to do that. And what we need is to draw something that goes like that. And maybe we'll do that. Oh, we don't have to do all that. Okay, so what we could do is take away that part of the circle. Draw this up. And look at the other objects and see how thick, thick they are. Oh, you remember that Al Gabe was here? Do you remember? It was like, was it? Ma it was like Manage 03, and she was trying to say Menage a Trois. But of course, because they were hillbillies, they didn't say. I think they were trying. They were like uh, hillbillies or something. I don't know what they would be called. But yeah, it's pretty damn funny. Oops. So let's go down a stroke. This might be, we'll call that a cylinder. Cool, and we'll just group that. So there's the three types of goods. Did you get to see, hey, uh, Gabriel, did you get to see the, uh, it was the Christmas, it was like the very first, it was before they, it was like the demo for the pilot episode of South Park, and it was the, it was like Santa Claus or something. It was, I don't remember it too well, but I remember it was freaking funny. It was before the series had started, and it was something that was just floating around on the internet, I think. And it was, I think it was the pilot. So now we got the three different types of objects. So we could say that now we could just say, um, I don't know, we'll say red. Red stands for admin. We 
could say Well, in this, in the, we'll say red always equals admin, so we'll just put our red dot there for admin. Okay, so the admin's always red, and then let's say in farming, just for now, let's just give to, we've got a green one, which will be, uh, I don't know one part maybe the uh, something harvesting task so this will be the administration task under farming this will be the harvesting task actually let's call that planting and then we'll do one of these let me make a brown color because brown is awesome power to the brown two in the brown yes it is got a brown one which will be for harvest so you've got plant someone who's good at planting someone's good at harvesting and then we'll do another one for maintenance uh, maintenance we'll just do it yellow maintenance cool so in pre-production I don't want to get into too many details here we'll just do several colors since we've already got a green one there, we'll do a green one here. And since we have a brown one over there, we'll do a brown one here. So we have a yellow one there, we'll do a yellow one here. We get the picture. And these are only test colors and test things. When we get into the weeds, we'll do... I remember when we were in the fields working... I remember me and and Brent were all like we had a hard on to buy moxes like we were working and I was gonna buy a mox and I forgot what else it was all about buying magic cards while we were working in the field for me and Brent I know it was stupid we were kicking our ass out there for fucking magic cards Oh, yeah, I remember when the Border Patrol pulled up. Man, you look scared. They were going to take you away, dude. The Border Patrol was going to get you. That was messed up. That was pretty damn funny. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I heard that there's a lot of regulations now on working in the fields. So I wonder um, I wonder what those new regulations are. Like you have to have porta potties out there and all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff that farmers don't want to do. Damn farmers. Okay, so just to get an idea. So what if we had a task card? And let's say this is a harvest card. So this is just brainstorm in. So this is a harvest card. So the harvest card, let's say it has one element on it that is, let me, this is a harvest card. It's all about cubes. And in this thing, I oh, don't want to go that small. It would be, we'd need an administrative and then harvest was brown and then we'll have a maintenance one so we'll call this a harvest one we'll put one maintenance one at the bottom we'll put you know you learn to harvest well you could do that or you could do maintenance and when you I mean do uh, you could do maintenance learn maintenance or you could do Ooh, they don't have to be the same, but we'll do it the same for now. And where's happy face? Happy fucking face. Happy fucking face. So now that card has a reason. So also what we could do, which would be interesting, is what if this thing, this task is not related to maintenance. 
and it's actually related to this brown one that is in a different thing so besides harvesting maybe you're into pre pre uh, pre-production and your pre-production that way I don't remember that. What are you talking about? Felix the cat didn't want to give us no water. You mean uh, my stepfather, Felix? He didn't want to give us. What are you talking about, man? Uh, now I'm intrigued. What is Felix the cat didn't want to give us water? Holy crap, Felix, my my stepfather didn't want to give us water. Why didn't he want to give us water? But it's probably a lot to text. I mean, not text to, uh, to message. I don't remember that. Crazy Felix. The only thing is, I don't like that they match colors. But oh man, that's messed up. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so what we have now is interesting because we could do this thing where we match shapes or we match colors or we just say match shape colors. Interesting. There's a lot that can be done here. Oh, I don't remember him trying to teach us. That's messed up. That's like freaking uh torture be out there in the heat without any water i can't imagine like back then a hundred a hundred and one was like boiling now dude it's like a hundred and six hundred and seven hundred and eight we'd be dead dead i tell you so i'm gonna save the file i like that I hadn't really thought of much today except for dividing these and then that would help theme out the cards. Um, that's interesting because what we could also do, do you know you have like a harvest card and what if you had like a late harvest card? What would that look like? This is going to make it so much easier to design these cards like late harvest. And then we could have um, early harvest. So let's say with the early harvest, we can do What if, yeah, that's an interesting idea because we could do, let's see, we could do different shapes but in the same color. So the, in the line it could have different shapes but they are all the same color and they work with the same, like the early harvest we basically threw in that shape which means there's a pre-production element to it and then we could do down here let's say on an early harvest uh, there's gonna be a maintenance problem and a, a planting problem and we take off the admin and put that and then it looks something like that or or there's also a maintenance problem when it comes to pre-production. This is just talking out my ass. I'm not saying this is how it works. But yeah, so now when you pick the card and you get to choose, you're also choosing in which department and which color. So colors could possibly... Colors or shapes could be this thing that dictate the, what are they called? skill tile supply what you can get 
Yeah, the heat has gotten fucking crazy. But there's no global warming, man. None at all. If you can hear like something weird in the background, that's my dog biting on his toy. Yeah, I really dig this idea. And so let's say late harvest could be, oops, any number of interesting things. So late harvest can be, uh, let's say if it's not that hardcore of that, but that and, oops, let's say one of these two elements and then we'll do a cube here and two of these and we'll do in whatever we'll just maintenance and then I don't know what yellow is in the game so this is cool because let's say you get the task late harvest okay you take it down and because of what your card says like you get late harvest that allows you to Boom, late harvest. I can take pick all of one, so I could pick all of one that would give me two scilla, I mean two octagons and a cube, or I could pick uh, one of two, so I get two of them basically, but they would be opposites. Or I can get hmm, that one doesn't have all the information, or does it? Plus two happy. Huh. Okay, so it was all of one, so it would be all of that, or all of that, or all of that, or one of two. So I can get one of these two different elements and then get two happy. Oh, uh, I've got two Shih Tzus, little bitty dogs. Um, little, right now they're fur balls. I'm still, I need to get them shaved. Come on, Caesar. Time to make an appearance. This is Caesar. He's famous. Then I've got an I've got another one which is a black one. Same kind of dog. But he is elusive at the moment. He doesn't want to be fucked with. How about yourself? Do you got any? Yeah, I've got their their little freaking rugrats. Um, let's see. I like what I've got going on. I'm probably gonna stop soon. Um, problem is that I've been walking a lot in the afternoon, so I, um, I'm like exhausted when I get here, and then I've got another early day for me tomorrow, which means seven o'clock. Which for most people that's nothing, but for me, good lord, that sucks getting up early. Really shitty. What kind of dogs you got, man? Mr. Gabriel. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, I really like that. So now, the question is, when we go into the bidding phase... Is it colors? Is it shapes? So this one comes up for bidding. It used to be before you match three colors and then you're able to pull the card. It might be some cool thing by having multiple shapes or multiple uh, colors that allows you to pull cards to get to a different type of tasks. So that you can pull better skill tiles. So it might be colors. Which allow you. Like you're used to the harvest process. And as long as all the yellow stuff was related. Like in the harvest. Let's say over here. In harvest. If all if the yellow somehow ties to pre-production yellow. And if sometime, somehow ties to post-production yellow. That having. Um. A history in a color allows you to pull task cards to help you 
get better at doing those things and pull the, the skill tiles. Yeah, I like it. I had an ad a Rottweiler at one time. She was crazy. She was huge, big, and awesome, but she was crazy. We couldn't keep her. It was too tough. It was too tough. Um, I guess I'm gonna call it right there. Uh, Gabriel, thanks for showing up, man. Uh, keeps keeps me entertained for sure. And hopefully tomorrow or the weekend I'll have a lot more of this game. Maybe I'll actually start playing some stuff. Anyway. I'll catch you all later. I'm trying to find the how to uh how you turn this damn thing off.